Okay, well, can you tell us a little bit about your work? I work irregular hours in a full-time capacity for a demanding employer. And what sort of hours do you actually work? Well, my shift's 7 till 7, but there's few industry standards and I'm always on call every night. Hmm, that sounds pretty rough. Um, can you give some examples of how demanding a work actually is? Uh, she likes her carrots mashed. She doesn't like to share her toys with her cousin. And she insists that I wipe her hands, but not her face. What is her response when um, you are unable to meet those demands? Well, she screams at me. She cries. She shakes her fists. And sometimes she lies on the ground, refusing to move. Mm. That sounds like a pretty difficult work environment. Yeah. And are you concerned about workplace agreements? Yep. Very concerned. At the moment, I'm at a slight advantage, weighing 65 kilos to her 11 and a half, and being able to speak English fluently. But in the future, there may come a time when I have to give her money or let her drive the car. So what does the rest of your day hold? Well, we're off to investigate an environmentally friendly, carbon positive area for some stimulating, interactive and educational pursuits. So you're going to the park? Yes. Can you tell us a bit about your work? It's not my work. It's God's work. My apologies. Uh, can you tell us a bit about God's work which you do? I'm only part of a body. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No. I mean, my father's house has many rooms and one day he will prepare a place for me. So, you're living in a shed out the back? I live in hope. So do you get paid for what you do? My treasures are stored up in heaven. Can you get access before you're 65? I hope not. I live because he lives. Who? Your father? The father. Time to get Susanna to bed. Uh, excuse me, can you tell us a bit about your work? I can tell you a bit about a bit of my work. Okay. Well, it's this, this bit here. I'm uh, looking at page 2369, uh, top system of uh, a contemporary piece of music by an Australian composer. It's this group of semiquavers here that's given... Um, um, Ray, just, what are semiquavers? They're small quavers. Right. And why do they come in groups? They just do. Okay. So the notes are... Mm, tears of blood, tears of blood. That's not too bad. That's not too hard. Tears of blood. And she's written up here that the tears has to start breathy and then become less breathy. So start breathy and then less breathy. I'll give that a go. Tears. I think that... Oh, I'll do it again. Tears. I think that's what she wants. Um, anyway, of blood. And the second semiquaver of blood also has to be more breathy, but much more breathy than the first semiquaver of blood. So, blood. Blood. Oh, that's better. Blood. And then... I have to breathe in, like a gasp. On the last semiquaver, it has to kind of bring the air back through the vocal cord, so... <gasps> like that, on a high pitch. So... <gasps> Trying not to do it with my hands. Yeah, it must be a bit hard. <gasps> oh, that wasn't very loud. <gasps> okay. Tears of blood. Put it together. Oh, hang on. Get my note. Tears of blood. Oh, I panicked. Tears of blood. 
Mm. Oh, there's a clap. There's a clap at the end. Okay, so I put the clap in. Here you go. Tears of blood. <laughs> mm. That was also too bad. The clap was a bit. Mm. Here we go. Tears of blood. <laughs> that felt better. How was it? Yeah, no, I, I think that sounded yeah, better. It felt, it yeah, felt good. no, it, yeah. yeah, it sounded good. I think I've got that. I might, yeah, I might move on to the next bar. Uh, I've got a note here. Oh, Rhys, just now. before you do, um, do you sometimes struggle with the significance of your work? No. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? 